Hey guys, how are you today? So our lesson today is actually a math lesson. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to make your friendship bracelet. So the uh, materials that you need are a thick piece of string. This is what I have. Yours might be a little different, might be a different color. That's okay, it will all work. A pair of scissors, so you guys have toddler friendly scissors. I have adult scissors and that's okay as well. Um, if your scissors do not work, just ask an adult to help you and maybe they can find you a better pair and um, assist you with the cutting process. And then you're going to need, I believe it said six, but really as many as you would like. Um, Toilet paper tubes, you can use a paper towel tube, which would be a little bit bigger, almost double. So first what I'm going to do, well, I would tell you this, if you would prefer to um, color these or, so I have a blue marker here. Let's see, I can color all over them, see that? Or I could draw big polka dots on them if I would want to, or I could draw um, a shape, I could draw a square, anything you guys would like to do. You don't have to make it look very pretty or you can keep it plain, whatever you would prefer. So with my tubes, I'm actually just going to cut them in half. So right down the middle, I'm going to cut them. So there's one. So when I cut it in half, my one tube now made two smaller tubes. See? So these two tubes and this one, if I stack them back together, now equal that one. But they're just cut in half to make it a little bit easier on me to string my friendship bracelet, okay? So I'm just gonna cut my tubes super quick here so we can start to form our bracelet. So I have six tubes. So now I have one small one, two, three, four. Here, can you guys see that a little better? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and the last one. 11 and 12. All right, awesome. So now from my six bigger tubes, I cut them in half and now I have 12 of these smaller ones. Practice counting yours um, one at a time, one-to-one -one correspondence as you guys are cutting as well, okay? So now I'm gonna take my thick string each end will work, whichever one. So I'm gonna use this end and I'm gonna take a tube and we're just gonna string it right on. And we're gonna do another one. So there's one tube. This is two, three, four. So what you wanna do is try to pinch this top part. You can hold it with all your hands or fingers if you have to, that's okay but we're really trying to get that fine motor skill going. So we're gonna wanna try to pinch with your pointer finger and your thumb. You can do it on whichever hand is most comfortable. So you can use your left hand or your right hand. I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna use my right hand to pinch. And I take my two and carefully try to get your string right in the middle. You might hit the sides a couple of times and that's all right, we're still learning. We're just gonna do this and pull the string out the other end. And look, our bracelet is starting to form. Now this is a pretty big bracelet, so it actually might end up being 
a necklace or maybe you can make it a belt or a scarf. Be creative, guys, whatever you would like to do. Maybe make it for a brother or a sister or an adult, a mom, a dad, a grandma, anybody you would like. Even yourself, if you like this and think it's beautiful and you don't want to give it away, that is awesome. We're just going to keep on stringing our bracelet. See how we're doing this? Remember, pinch, push it through, pull that out the other side, and our bracelet is coming along. And since this is a friendship bracelet, if you would like to make it for your best friends at school and maybe bring it into school tomorrow, or um, if you're a fully virtual learner, save it for maybe a family night if you're gonna attend, bring it in, show it to us, give it to your best friend. Maybe you're really missing someone not being at school every day. That's so understandable. I might bring mine in and let all my friends play with it this week. All right, and so after this, maybe an adult or an older brother and sister can help you tie it here at the end. We're just gonna do a knot. And I'm just gonna do one more knot just to be safe. And look at my bracelet. So see, since it's a little big, maybe I should wear mine as a necklace. And there's my friendship necklace. And like I said, I'm probably going to bring this into school this week and let all my friends have a turn coloring on some of my um, plain toilet paper tubes and trying it on as a bracelet or a necklace or whatever they prefer, guys. I hope you make awesome friendship bracelets and I cannot wait to see them all. If you guys could bring them into school or send, have your parents send us some pictures on Dojo or an email, that would be awesome. We love to see your final product. Thanks for joining in today, guys. I hope you had so much fun. Remember, practice counting all of these tubes as well. Have an awesome day, guys. Thanks.